Hey guys, it's Kaylor. Welcome to the YouTube channel. This is week one of the weekly design challenge. This challenge is hosted on my Discord. There is a sign up link down in the description. For more information on the weekly design challenge, I have a video linked on the screen right now. Click that card and it will explain everything you need to know. Or you can head over to the weekly design challenge chat here in Discord and read all about it. So this week I was actually able to go through every submission and pick out a handful to showcase and critique here in this video. This week's challenge was to create a food themed landing page. This could have been for a restaurant or a delivery service, anything food related. I do want to let you know that each of the designers I'm going to showcase and critique in this video have a link in the description of a social media that they chose. So with that, thanks to everyone who participated in the first ever weekly design challenge. Let's get into the video. So these are in no particular order. And also, I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name or username. So first up, we have Boss Von Stratton. I probably pronounced that wrong, I'm sorry. Uh, here's the first entry for the design challenge. I thought it would be fun to do a landing page for an orange juice subscription-based delivery service. We'd love to hear your feedback, mainly joining the design challenge to build a portfolio for clients and to improve my craft. So first off, I think it's a great idea that you're building out your portfolio by doing these design challenges. That's a great idea. Uh, so first off on the design, my first thoughts is I really like the font and I really like the colors. I think the design is solid. I really like how the product and the background color matches. It's very modern, it's very clean. And I especially love the oversized H1s. Uh, that style is really nice. At first, I may have thought this navigation was too large, uh, but after I looked at it, I think since you have these massive H1s, uh, this is good, it looks nice. And I especially love these larger buttons. They stand out, they get people to click on them, and they got a lot of nice padding in there. Looks great. I would really love to see this as a full website one day. For the next section, you go to white. I like that. I think it looks nice and clean. I love how the simple orange is over here on the side with the information over here on the right. One thing you might want to consider playing around with is this. It looks like the opacity is lowered too much. I know it has to be separate from that, but just try playing around with that. And also, I don't know if it's intentional, but the spacing here is larger than it is down here. That's what it's looking like to me. Uh, so you might want to recenter that if that's not what you're going for. The next section looks great. It matches the landing section and it looks consistent with the brand. Nice orange image. Then you've got the choose the subscription. If I had to pick one section on the whole website to really critique, it would be this one, just because I think the entire design is so great. I'm just not a big fan of the cards that you've designed. Uh, the opacity where it fades out here is a little weird because you have the image in the background. Maybe try switching the image over to the other side or just keeping them solid all the way through. Also, uh, the card, you might wanna look into a different style. I just think that there's not enough spacing and maybe the heading's a little large. So really just focus on this entire section if you want, uh, because that's really the only lacking part of the website if I had to choose something. Overall, really great design. Uh, moving on down, you've got the customer reviews. Really like it. I love how this is staggered on the side. It's consistent. You got the information next to that. Looks great. And then you follow it up with these beautiful cards. Uh, I don't know why I like these so much, but uh, they just look so great with the product on here. Uh, really great work. The footer, I like how you have the terms and conditions, different color than the pages. It really makes that stand out over this. And uh, I think this is a great design, a fantastic one to start the weekly design challenge series on. And overall, really great work. Again, just that one section is the only thing that I personally don't like, but that's just my opinion. Uh, keep designing. You have really great stuff. Everyone, check out Boss Von Stratton on Instagram. Links down in the description. Again, I'm sorry if I mispronounce your name. The next design we have is by Andreas Katzman. So you can check out Andreas's website. Link is in the description. It says this is a recipe. It's a website for food inspiration. So I like how the plate is cropped out and it's got a like little drop shadow on it. I like how that is the center of the design. It's the main focal point. Uh, the color in the background, it's green. It matches a lot of the green in the food. It's very clean. Uh, you could probably try out a green button here. So let's actually try that. Let's just kind of overlay this on top. And let's bump the border up to a green color. And we'll put that at a size of two. And yeah, I think that would work pretty well. I mean, that's just an option. You don't have to do that. Uh, but I do see that this is maybe red. I'm not sure if that's supposed to match the food here, uh, but I probably wouldn't do that. I would either go with the green color if you're gonna do that option or just make it the 
outline you have here and the icon color as well. Uh, I don't I don't think that should be red. Uh, this text here, you might want to lowercase that. Uh, it's kind of bashing with the heading because of that. The only other thing you might want to consider is maybe taking these images and these headings and converting them to a card. That's a really great place for that because I would assume they're going to be clicking on each one of these. Uh, so you might want to think about converting that to a card. But overall, this is a really clean, really solid design. Great work. Again, Andreas Katzman. The website is down in the description. Check it out. Uh, keep up the good work. This next design is from Gregory from Romania. Shouts out to Romania. There's a Behance project link for this one. I'll link that Behance down in the description. Uh, it says, this is my first project on Behance and I'm very excited. I made this design for the weekly design challenge in my Behance portfolio. I wish you good luck and have a nice day. So let's take a look at this design. I just wanna point out that this text is rotated a little bit. If I draw a line for you, let me hold shift and drag one out. It's just a little off center. Um, I believe with the amount of content that you have on here, you probably had to rush a little bit to finish this just because there's a lot here. I can tell you put some time into this. Um, so there are a few things uh, that you might want to uh, fix in the design, but overall it's really nice and it's some really good work. Um, I don't know if you cropped these images out in Photoshop yourself, but if you did, they look really good. And uh, I can see how that was very time consuming uh, if you did that as well. So for this one, I just have a few things that uh, to critique if you want to hear it. Uh, this right here, I would maybe lighten the gray. So keep the same color for the body, uh, but just maybe do a lighter gray, um, just a little bit lighter. Um, so it just kind of doesn't stand out so much. It looks like this is really busy because of that and a simple text color change on that, I think would work really well for you. Same thing for these down here. You might want to try that same color gray on those as well if you decide to lighten that up. Uh, the only really other thing that I can say for a lot of these sections is maybe just increase the uh, the height of the margin in between them here. So it's about 200 for that one, 250. Maybe just buy like 100 or 200, especially between the choose your ratio and the top today dishes. Uh, I think the spacing from the bottom of this card to here just, just increased a little bit, make it feel a little less busy when it's in a browser. Um, this section's great. I can tell exactly what's going on. Again, you have these nice uh, vegetables displayed. Uh, right here, the only problem I have with this section is I didn't know what these exactly were doing. So you might want to uh, work on their positioning and just think a little bit more about the placing on that. Other than that, I think everything looks good. Really like this section. I like how these images are off the uh, rectangle that they're inside of. That's great. Uh, that's consistent with this. This section overall looks nice. It looks like you have a good amount of spacing here. Maybe just increase this one a little bit. And the footer looks great, except the spacing here between the heading and this. And it looks like you might have done that as well there. Um, this one looks good. This one's maybe a little bit too much. And then this one is too much. Uh, so just those minor things. Other than that, I can tell there's a lot of work that's went into this design and it's really well thought out. The layout is done really well. I think it's just a great design. Gregory's Behance is linked down in the description. Again, Gregory, those are just my opinions. It's overall really great design. Uh, thank you for submitting it. I'm glad I got to showcase it in today's video. Keep up the great design work. This last one is from Matthias. It's called Chef Demand. It's a service where people can look at new or classic recipes and explore them. Once they found something they like, they can choose whether they want to cook it for themselves or have a chef cook it for them. Matthias has provided a Dribbble account, so I will link that down in the description below. I really don't have anything to say about this one other than it looks nice. I could go into some little things and critique it, but I, I just don't think it needs it. I think everything I would have to say on this is what I said on most of these. Is It's pretty much personal preference. I think a lot of the designs submitted today were really great. Um, I think you guys are a lot of talented designers. And uh, Matthias, I, I just I don't have anything to say for critique-wise. If you want to critique, I, I don't have anything. I, I think you're doing what you're doing. It looks good. Uh, so that is all of the designs I'm going to show today. Next week, if you want to see more than this, let me know. Uh, but these are the designs that I selected. I, I thought a lot of the designs uh, that I didn't show in this were great. And I wish I had the time to go in and critique and talk about all of them and say what you did amazing and what I loved about them. Uh, but I, I just can't. So I look forward to doing these 
each week for as many weeks as you guys want it to be done. Uh, just because I had a lot of fun making this video. So again, thanks to everyone who participated, whether you submitted your own design or helped out in the chat, critiquing and giving helpful tips in the Discord. So that is it for the week one video. Again, this never closes. So if you're late to the party and you want to go and design week one, you're welcome to go ahead and do that and submit that in the week one chat. And there's always people online in the Discord who will more than likely critique you or just provide you with some feedback. Uh, but that is it for week one video wise. So now it's time to reveal week two and go ahead and open that up for you guys to start designing. Week two's theme is e-commerce app design. This can be a checkout screen, a product screen, a store screen, whatever it is, as long as it's an e-commerce application for something like iOS or an Android device. So that is the challenge for week two. It is now open in the Discord. So feel free to submit your designs at any time. So that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more design and code related content. I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So make sure you have that notification bell on so you don't miss a video. And as always, have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.